fought myself on that one. No mic. That would have been that would have been really bad. <laughs> oh. Hello everyone. Welcome to yet another stream. Today is the 15th of February 2021. Uh, this is the Boxing Day equivalent of uh, Valentine's Day, which I guess is uh, what would that mean? Is that either like you've got too much chocolates from from your special one and you're eating them and you gotta get rid of the boxes of the chocolates? Or is it like you're relieving yourself of a certain... Uh, Valentine's Day is an interesting one because I don't even know like what actually the, um, the celebration is. When did it come from? What is, what is it like St. Patrick's Day? There's a, there's a saint out there? I haven't looked it up really. It's not a uh, like a national holiday. It seems to just be like something that does fall on this very specific day every year. So who knows? Uh. Anyway, well, it's a day ending in Monday, which means uh, which means yep, it's stream time again, and uh, it is yet another continuation of Golden Sun. Uh. I have checked, I have committed a small cardinal sin, and it's called leaving my phone on vibration, uh, but an even worse cardinal sin, I have looked at a wiki, I know, I know, I know, I shouldn't, but I have, so let's get into this. Uh, but I did look at a wiki because I get, I do get a little bit of, you know, like FOMO looking at, um, RPGs and stuff. And I also like having the idea of knowing, you know, how, how much longer is this going to take? Or have I actually, like, you know, screwed something up? Am I just, like, am I doing something horrendous? And as it turns out, I didn't look up what on earth this was. Where, like, this guy was trapped and then I, yeah, I actually didn't even look this one up. Hold on, I'm, I'm legitimately looking this up before I, uh, before I actually continue. But I'm curious, so what, what ended up happening, um, at the end of last week's part? If you hadn't tuned in, or this is just, um, uh, basically, so these two, uh, pink-haired people are from the village to the left. Uh, basically I had walked all the way around, solved all the problems come over there and they were like, oh, someone's trapped. So I'm like, okay, sure. And then they were like, oh, like maybe you should go, you know, assist. You don't have to if you don't want to. So I'm like, okay, I go over here, he's trapped. I can't do really anything at a distance here. Uh, but then what ended up happening was I was curious and I walked around the whole thing and then everyone was gone. And interestingly, this, like, you can see there's a door on the right side. Interestingly, that door leads to a very short cave that just loops around right here. But this is still permanently shut. But uh, this is an open walkway. It's not an issue, but it makes me feel like, uh, I've done something wrong. I don't know. So I'm just about to, I'm just gonna, like, glimpse on what's going on here. Uh, does the wiki say what's going on? Okay. Uh... Isaac then uses the recently acquired lift synergy. So is that the problem? Because this is... Well, I can't... Somehow this guy's on the other side of like whatever this is. Maybe. Actually, maybe. I, I just need to use move on this. Or move here, or force. Move here. No. We got move here. I'm honestly not 100% sure, but they do seem to have a screenshot here uh, of them after getting reveal. 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 You know, that actually would, would explain everything. 
Okay. 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 Oh, look at this poor guy, and I was about to leave him here. I am bold. It is strong. I, I don't know. Oh no, if only, if only I had... So, yeah, this is the other weird thing. Is it like... So did I just, like, let him die by leaving here until... Uh... Wait, which one am I doing? I'm doing... Lift, lift. Look at that. Easy. The boulder, it floats. I wanted to meme, but that's a little that's a little cruel. I'm not that cruel. I can't put it down. <laughs> can't put down the rock. So it's strange, because it seemed to like just resolve itself anyways, but it didn't, I guess I didn't really know what reveal met was. And I guess that's something curious, is that, yeah, I just hadn't tried everything. Uh, sure. Y you must be mistaken. And is that purely just to, like, get some thanks, and that's it. This person just wants a bail, apparently. Ah. So yeah, I, I guess that literally was just me learning that yes, indeed, something is is gone. So and and then other than that, this looks exactly the same. So I guess I didn't really miss out anything by walking around. But uh, now here's something. Here is something that uh, someone in 18 years' time will probably you know see my videos and go, "How did you not get this, dumb B source?" And you know what's the worst part? Uh, ten-year-old me, I wasn't that, but young me missed this as well. And this, I can understand not at all how someone actually gets this. So, you'll see Isaac's gonna get growth. Growth is the one. I went with the water one, I didn't go with growth. So growth is the ability that I actually wanted the whole time. Uh, fortunately, I don't think I missed anything, like, critical. It's nice, it's, I think it's like, that's a stat buff item, but... I don't think I had actually missed anything too critical. Um... What I don't understand is... Multiple Jin. Like, different class Jin. It's just like, it exists. I'll get there eventually, I'll figure it out, but for now... Uh, it's a bit of an enigma to me. Uh, so the other thing that I saw on the wiki, and the reason why I'm going right here instead of going into the desert, is, uh, and this is one that people might probably go like, hmm, okay, what's going on here? Uh, I appreciate that <laughs> one of my mates is streaming at the exact same time I am as well. That's great. Uh, but I had missed some gin. Two. Now, you guys probably have seen the one that I did miss, and I'm going off a description of what the other one is. Uh, I believe it's here. Is it here? Is it at this spot? I think I've got a picture as well. Yeah, no, it should be. There it is. Um, 
Yeah, now I gotta fight a gym. Uh. Yeah, this is this is an interesting uh, one, and as the wiki states, it's one that most people will just miss. It's it exists in the overworld, and you don't even see that it's there. Um, and I can kind of go like, yeah, that's interesting. That's actually a really interesting like way of finding one. It's different to the other ones because they've all been out on the field. Um, and yeah, the worst part is that they're Oh, two I missed. One is this one, and the other one was one that I could have gotten way earlier, and I just not figured out the one thing. You'll see what I mean when I get to it. Uh, ooh. It's a bit of damage. I don't think this guy is that tough. He doesn't seem like he's doing too much. Give me that party HP. Gordon Ramsay's. Oh, got him. Nice. So he's just... Yeah, he is just there, which is kind of curious. I guess I shouldn't really, uh, you know, rule out uh, thingy, but yeah, I can trade with that. And now I have 12. Jin. Uh, and... Yeah. 12 gin, we'll go with that. Um, I can't heal right now because I don't have the ability to heal <laughs> with this set of gin. That's okay. Uh, the other one is a bit back. And I wonder how the game will cope with me running quite a distance back. But it's not going to be too far back. It's not too bad. Monkey. Or mate, sorry. To mate. Alright, real talk. Like, who actually knows, like, the big differences? I, I guess, like, there's a lot of different, you know, um, Simeon? That's the catch all term for monkey, ape, gorilla, everything. Uh. I think I go around the forest, don't I? Ooh, I guess I go through the forest. Uh oh, the forest has become a gorilla. What's up, Silly Sasquatch? How's it going? Oh my gosh. That's just regular enemy gorilla. Why is he so cruel? fun one to backpedal through if the game was mean, which it might be. So if I start wandering in the w wrong directions here, I'm curious where it's even going to take me. Uh, how's the game going? Uh, the game is going pretty alright. I, yeah, I've made the, uh, the slightly sinful thing of, yeah, looking some things up on, on, uh, the wiki, which has informed me that I have indeed missed one gin. Well, I missed two earlier, but one was right where I was. Uh, Ivan is really copping it right now. Uh, you know what I'm surprised about? The fact that I hadn't missed more. Like, it was just that number. I think the reason why you're copping it is because you got all these Jin set. Just have the stats. Have the stats, like, lined up. Uh, how do I even get back. Do I go upright? No. And bottom right doesn't seem to be going anywhere because that goes there and... I wonder how you get back. This game is old school vague with secrets. Some stuff you would never find if you didn't look it up. Yeah, okay, that one gin in the overworld. Legitimately, I probably would have never found that out had I not just casually gone like, no, oh, which ones have I missed? Um, I'm... I am surprised, yeah, how many I have picked up, but 
You know, that's not, that's not all the, where, where am I going right now, by the way, as well? I am legitimately, like, lost in this freaking forest. Like, or not lost, but like, I can't figure out how to keep going north, out to it. Unless it's like, there's a soft lock there. Not a soft lock, but you know what I mean, like it, it locks you in. I think I might actually be stuck, which is a bit of a shame. Because I'm thinking like, yeah, there's not really anything else. Alright, well, I'm going to have to bear the grunt of not having a gin. Uh, up slightly. There we go. Um, I don't know, I guess, yeah, I'll just continue on, which... I think if you continue the story, the option to go back through easier means is available. I think that's probably the best thing to, to do, is just to go back and get the gin than worry about really trying to get him right now. Um, cause he's, it's just the gym. It's not like, it's not like, you know, vital piece of equipment that you require in order to beat the game. It's the thing that lets you cast the magic. I do need to learn what weapons are available. Things that can help my stats, or at least help me do, you know, the things that are necessary. The things that are necessary, that sounds vague. But yeah. Uh, so I guess I... Uh, worry not. There was only one soft lock in the whole game, I believe. Yeah, and I don't think I've uh, encountered that soft lock, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope I'm pretty alright. But uh, I will give this the good old push it down save. And now I'm in the desert. Now the desert has a bar. We have a bar. I assume that's temperature. Oh, you know what? I'm probably going to need uh, reveal maps to L, aren't I? That's that's the magic. Have that. Okay. Don't kill myself. Okay, that's the sand. That's the sand. That's the evil sand. How about I leave and come back just so I got that reset? I love this like heat has effect. It's classic GBA, but it's great. Oh my gosh! Those orcs, the pigs with sexy pants. They got these wonderful teal necklaces, man. Oh, and and they recovered. You, are you allowed to say spasm in today's day and age? Maybe not. We'll see. <laughs> he's really, he's really going for the heels. He really loves those heels. All right. Uh, if you stop complaining. Maybe you'll be okay. Uh... <laughs> Desert area is interesting, I'll say that. I feel pretty safe just kind of going with regular attacks for the moment. Uh, and say what you like, just make sure the wet wipes on out of their caves. That is... that is... exactly. You can't deny spin straight factor. I'm curious what they meant by saying reveal. Uh, if this bar hits the top, do I just start taking damage? Well, I guess I'm gonna have to figure out now. We'll get there. We'll get there. Reveal is not telling me anything. That's... 
not the worst. Ooh, hold on. Woo! Vulcan Axe. So, Vulcan Axe unleashes Barrage. Well, I can't do anything about either of these two, but I feel like giving it to Isaac on top of his arm to play will be an interesting one. And that's not necessarily the best there, but ah, oh, no one else can equip that as well. Done. Alright, well, it's got a battle axe now. I don't have, uh... That's a dangerous spot. Uh, give him the briar. Yeah, I'm going with the magic on this one. Just throw it at him. Oh, but he's got his friend. More bees. get to kill the bee. And they're multiplying on me. That's the barrage. Ooh, that's a good amount of damage. That's good. Alright, that's speaking up, yeah, good amount of damage. Um Hold on, I guess I've got the, the strict, so next time I do a battle I can just... Ah Oh that's water! Oh, the monster design in this is way more perturbing than it is. Yeah. Knock on those denim pants. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm starting to understand. It's just one Grubhub. That's it. Can he give me perks on the food that I love? That, that seems pretty nice. So, enemy, you don't want that. More magic? Sure. Okay. Uh... Uh, okay. I wasn't, I wasn't quite thinking run, but then I was like, yeah, I'll just set that. There you go. Is that a dead person? That's a skeleton. It's not really a person, per se, but... Alright, uh, back to using scripts again. Get the grub hub. That is such a good gin. That is just nice having a heal all. This is the point where people complain that I played Final Fantasy 7 and I didn't realize that you can actually just select your entire party when you're using a magic spell. Uh, people got angry at me for not figuring that out. I'm like, no, no nothing in the game particularly tells you. Lucky Pepper. And I've got to set the gin again. That's okay. We'll get there. Who makes RPG dungeons? Like, what's the, like, the thinking that you go through to turn it into something? Supply on that. And that as well. Oh, this can be. Oh, okay, so that was an enemy. Um... Still not out. Hmm. Okay, start tripping.
Um, hmm, I, I'm just kind of like stopping thinking because yeah, this is very different dungeon. It feels different. Is it even a dungeon? Who knows? Why are you so thirsty, bro? And there you go, that's what I was thinking. So now I'm inside. Uh, by the way, there's a, there's a question as well. If I've missed any gin in particular, please tell me, because I kind of would like to... <laughs> I don't know if I've just like walked past one. Is this another one where like there's an entrance right there? That's not as much an entrance. Is he gonna fight me in a moment? Ooh, that's interesting that it just kicks you out. I appreciate that, it's just like, yep, take the damage from the, from the thingy, uh, ooh, what would you say is, like, the attack? I'm thinking, oh gosh, yeah, this is, this is an interesting fight right now. I feel like just kind of going in hard with the magic. In up the spritz. Ah, uh, should I be concerned about curse? Oh, and he's attacking twice. And he's attacking twice. And I can't do anything about healing. Oh no, I can. No, I can. Agility and store help. We're on defensive on the turn. Okay, okay, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Delude. Okay, delusion. Shouldn't be too bad. Shouldn't be too bad. Poison tail. Well, at least it's not sticky poison. At least it's just it's just the tail. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, can I just, like, blow him to sleep? Is that a possible move, or no? Impair. Okay, that just dropped defense. And a bit of damage. Not particularly great, but... Uh... I should have just like unsaid that for the moment. There we go. Move like a favor, get him. Oh. Oh, he's cutting it fine. He's cutting it real fine. Alright. Uh, Tim Matt. and I think you just need a bit of extra support there. Spritz gang. Look at that, it's a dragon thing, whoa! That's kind of cool. And it's really hot. He's on fire. Oh, he's poisoned. And your curse as well. Ooh, cut that fine on me. Um. Uh, I'm gonna go with Cure Well. Uh, and then you're waiting on stuff. So... I guess you go with Volcano. You're waiting on your stuff, so you can go with the Storm Ray, and you can cast Aureus. 
Alright, this guy's definitely taking his, his sweet time. This has to do a lot of damage, right? This guy's gotta be like fire. Oh, jeez, 619. Oh, okay. I think I looked at my list and I may have actually missed one as well. Uh, so why don't I save just in case I'm wandering way too far back. That's a bit of a weird, I mean a pretty clear spot for me to miss one, but also like... Did the cactus just hurt me? Oh, poison. Duh. Duh. Uh, I assume the curse wears off and that's all fine. Monkey Dory, all good. Uh, and that's recovering. Okay. Let's actually look down here, because... We got some poop. Okay. So that's just monster encounter? That's just monster encounter. That's... Oh, that's a big monster encounter. Legendary and lion. Is he gonna like ruin my day? Not particularly. Okay. It's not too bad. Flare wall. Oh gosh. At least he's not attacking twice, but you know, once you start getting into the, the bosses, they do it. Alright, alright, he's just a bit of a thicker enemy. That's it. Then we got the chest here. And he's back as well, so. think anything hits you if you're not looking at those, so that's nice. I hate how everyone just keeps telling yourself, like, just let the bar fill. Let me witness the bar filling. Encounter death, you know. So, I guess, how's everyone's Valentine's Day been? It's been all good. Uh... You know, I can't really think of, like, anything too big that's happening in the news recently. Um, here's one thing that did kind of, like, irk me off, though. Not a, not a particularly long story, but one that, uh, short and gets to the point of slightly irritating me. So, uh, there's this small game. You may have heard of it, you may not have heard of it. It's called, uh, Titanfall. It's, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's a reasonably popular game. Uh, it came out at the end of 2014? I saw a post on Reddit and it's like, the guy's like, oh, I was like, t like, I was 10 when it came out. And I was like, oh, oh, okay. Like, oh, 777 coins. Lucky gang. Uh, so I, I think the, the, the gin is in one of these, but. Your guess is as good as mine, which one he even is in. He is at least surrounded by these rocks, so... It's not... Completely... Ooh, these are some enemies. And I didn't... I didn't... Ah... Uh, maybe I'll just go in with it. Um... So... But the issue with Titanfall, apparently, is that... Uh, they... Had, uh, either a hacker... Or a DDoS hit, or something. Their servers got taken down. Uh, and, uh, it's been three weeks. They're still not up. And so, like, there's one thing to, like, oh, like, your game servers are not up and you've not issued a statement about it. Like, no one can connect into your game. There's another thing to continually sell the game without you saying, like, that something has happened. Because... I was almost about to buy the game. Now, it's a bit of a character for me. I don't usually buy multiplayer-only games. But I'm like, you know, maybe. We'll see. I don't know. It might be nice. Uh, I guess I'm also in Australia, and it's just like, yeah. Like, good luck even getting a game. Uh, but it's, it's just something. It's something to note. But, yeah, the fact that you can't actually connect and play the game, you think that would constitute a bit of a major issue, like, you know, you're buying a game, and then the game hits the title screen, and then goes, nah, I can't connect to the online servers, 
try again later. Like, what's that supposed to mean? Like, now, yeah, it makes sense why exactly, and I can really understand a bit of an older game being not a priority. But just say that. Say that. I don't want to buy something that I cannot actually run. I think, uh, I mentioned last week, uh, Battleborn being closed off. Oh, that's kind of cool, that exiting doesn't, doesn't do anything. I like this little salamander element, so cool. Are those wings? Your mate bailed, so... I don't know. <laughs> Time to take damage! So, yeah, I don't really have too much to say about that, but it's definitely one where, like, you know, something needs to be done about that. Uh, so if any of my, uh, reasonably low number of viewers, but still impactful viewers, uh, if any of you guys are watching, and you do work at EA, or you, or, or, um, I was gonna say Splash Damage Respawn, um, fill someone in that they need to probably say that this is happening um, because it's possible that the community can help identify what's going on if they can you know have a little bit more info as to what's going on I know I know you probably don't want Titanfall to be open source contribution of the year but it's also one where it's like you know the community is left on the dark on this one and you're receiving money for a product that ultimately isn't like sellable like if some people legit want to pursue uh legal things probably wouldn't be that hard uh given that's the case given you're selling software that requires authentication on a server that isn't like it's not so that's all i've really got to say about that it's a pretty cut and dry case i guess you got you got just it exists this is the mash a part of the part of the thing. Uh, I have a feeling that like. further up, but... Again, broad descriptions, I don't have too, too clear a, a sign, but it says, like, you're coming from... from the lower right. Which means I'm actually just going to run away from this one. Nope! Oh. Ain't no running from this one. What about this one? There you go. Nice and easy. From the southeast, from the lower right, go right and go up immediately to a circle. The stones that contains an oasis. Is that the one? That contains an oasis, sure. And there go northwest to a conjoined set of stones. Okay, well. We'll see in a moment. <laughs> this guy take just slightly more hits all right so conjoined set that looks conjoined oh there he is sure and he just joins it he's just chilling comes up cool 
I think that's the only one. So here's something. This is now my fourth uh, wind one. Which means I technically can... Uh, oh, I can't dump that yet. Not quite, not quite. Uh, how good is that gym, by the way? What does it do? Bells of foes, vision and smoke. Well, more of those effects, I guess, but... Um, yeah, did giving that... Do anything? Particular? No. Seemed pretty standard, just... If anything, it didn't change any stats. Maybe it's because they've got too many gins that it doesn't really change... Uh, their, you know, their class or something. Maybe that's probably what it is. This desert is so darn hot. How can people deal with a desert that's just so darn hot? I know, right? What else has really been happening in the world? I don't think anything really, like, video game related has been happening in the world. We've got Chinese New Year celebrations. I unfortunately don't really have any, uh... Recounts or a counts of anything really going on in that, which is unfortunate. Um, but it does mean that you do get, uh, you know, your Steam sale, all that stuff. So uh, you can participate in celebrating uh, through consumerism, through buying some things at slightly discounted prices or very discounted prices. There's definitely some good, uh, good discounts on Steam and definitely in some other places. Uh, I saw some pretty good. Uh, Pretty good uh, GOG ones relating to Bethesda games, which was kind of neat. So that's nice. Maybe one day I will play a Bethesda game on stream, but just to just to vent, just to like flesh out my frustrations. Okay, actually continuing now. I didn't just hide like something really hidden. It's not just like a hidden rock. Got it. Oh, and I even get to the end. Okay. Wow, that's a okay, that's a long boy desert. Uh What's what's the odds? What's the odds is another like another gin just chilling like here. Dead end spot. You know it's gonna be good, right? There is one! Oh, Legend. Okay, uh... Surfing on the spritz. Give him the... I feel like I could just go on with magic, really. I don't have to do anything too fancy, just... Just get him with the goods. So what do you go against for any rand? back? He's not back. Uh, go with the restart. <laughs> I did save. I did, I did note. Uh, so age old question. I still haven't answered it, I guess. I'm nine hours 14 and jeez. Uh, age old question. What's the expected level mark? My brain's thinking 30. I don't think it was quite in the forest, so... It's probably just out, like, sitting here, or... Maybe it is in the forest. There he is. Alright. I guess I'm just going for it, just... Mad growth! Ooh, ooh. That's a bit of damage. Ivan is so weak! He just, he constantly just takes it so hard. I hate it. I hate how he just he can't. Uh, boost that party resistance. Get that HP back, you're gonna need that. Easy breezy. Oh boy, and you're dead. 
done. And Mia really needs the healing, but... Mia's the Fennec. Nice. Alright. Well, fortunately, I've got Quartz, so... There's that on the table. Uh, and I can just use this here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Good thing he only attacks once, am I right? Oh, but... Alas, yeah, your healing item just doesn't... Doesn't feel like it at the moment. Uh, I'm gonna set him. Uh, and he ran! Oh, oh, the jerk. The jerk boy. I c cannot believe it. I don't know why, by the way, I'm going into the, the menu to reset when I, I've actually, I believe. Have I acknowledged? Yeah, you could just AB start select. You know one thing I found out, I've, I've actually been uh, replaying um, Mario Sunshine, and uh, I never realized that uh, ABXY start, I think, or it's ABXY LR, it's one of the two, restarts the game. It's a GameCube game. There's a physical restart button on the system. Why do you need one on the, like, why do you need a combo on the controller? That is like... Dicey if I was mashing all my buttons trying to skip a cutscene. Cough, cough at the beginning of the game. Cough, cough. It always makes me wonder, like, when developers, like, add stuff like that. Like, what's the, the market for adding a restart on the, on the thingy? One of those really good user stories. Am I right? That is some mad growth. Either that or I go in with all my gins set. I don't know, actually. I just need to get him with the sleep, really. That seems to be the, uh, the linchpin here. He goes for mad growth a couple of times. Definitely almost getting out of the mirror there, but... That is not a very good deal, but... He's still awake, he's still awake, he's, he's sitting strong. Uh... Do I go for the cure on Ivan or the cure on Mia? I'm going on Ivan. Uh, boost that party resistance, and I guess me and myself. Okay, Ivan's safe, Ivan's safe. Mia's safe. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Don't run, don't you dare run. Don't you dare get away from me. Okay, Gaia? Gaia. That looked scarier than it actually ended up being, so I'm glad. Uh, and now, yeah, let's... Ooh, four, I just realized. Uh, okay. Here we go, we got a new, new summon. Ooh. It's not 3D, I guess. Oh, there he is. Four or five damn, and he's dead. He's gone. Cool. Okay. There's another one in the boat, in the belt. That's a sound. I'll never get over that. Uh. So now that he's got three, I guess you can get this one. Do I have? I didn't have anything now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's unset those. So what's this one as well? Tangle foes to drop agility. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, can't go up right. A little too narrow. Yeah. Uh, bridge. Bridge. We got undead. We got Fighter B, we got the lot. Just imagine like leaving, you know, a, a desert, you're hallucinating. The smell of decay, like what is this? And then like... Zombie. There's actually just a zombie, right there. He's just looking at you. I, dead eyes, I guess. Comes with the territory.
You ever like read a or watch a movie or read a book and it's like it's like the zany adventures of the undead in typical you know suburban life, and then it's like why zombies attack me? Uh, I mean I guess they make the case that like they're going for the brains, but is that their only food source? You think there'd be a lot of food out there that would be okay for the brains, and also like. I, I guess zombies are multiplying, aren't they? Like, they... Oh, where does this go? Where does this, like... Where is this going? Wow. I... I don't really know how zombies, like, particularly work. I guess they, they, they are supposed to be the brain-dead, like, mindless, you know, kind of... kind of enemy, and... Uh, in a terrifying way in some aspects, like, you know, they are you, they are effectively you. I mean, it can be you at any point in time, it's like, oh, okay, that's a bit spooky. This is just a bit of grass that just wanders all the way up here and doesn't actually do anything. That is amazing. And there's just one zombie, so... Whereas, like, yeah, what's, a, what's another, like, you know, classic monster? The vampire. The vampire is... Just the smart zombie. He is exactly the same thing. Well, not exactly the same thing, because you know, if you turn to a bat, they go for blood instead of instead of the brains, I guess. But like the the vampire is a bit of an interesting one, because uh, you get a lot of media where it's like the vampire is just like. Uh, how would I say? Like, the vampire is just the thing that sucks blood. Uh, and can maybe turn into a demon. They seem to turn into demons quite a bit. Um, I believe that's... Don't they have lots of powers? They do have lots of powers! That's the thing! Uh, so in high school, I read... Uh, the original, the Dracula novel, which... Uh, it, I feel like is where all the vampire mythos comes from. And I'm not too sure if it existed beforehand, probably, but... Ooh. Here we go, town. Clay! Welcome to Clay. But, like, yeah, you read that, and it's like, oh, like, he's got, um... Like, he's got, uh, like, slave vampires. He's got, like, he makes people hallucinate. He can just, like, walk on the walls. He can, like, turn into rats. Definitely promoted. Like, legit, legit, Dracula can do everything in that. And... You, you hear it all in the third person. Oh, and the best part is like, it's like he bites someone and then they turn over like two weeks. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, it's a bit of a cop-out ending. It's like, yeah, we gotta get, like, save Mina in the end, so. Ooh, I just realized, yeah, I can, I can wish now. Uh, but what am I wanting? I'm wanting, uh, catch. Yeah, like, they're just like, ah, if you... Actually, no, they, that's not the blood transfusion thing, because that was more just like they relieved the curse. Uh, but yeah, like, Dracula seems to like bite like the people dear to the story and then like let them suffer and transform over time instead of... I don't know. And weirdly, like, you got freaking... Um, I've got the main character. Jonathan? Jonathan Harker? And he like, he visits Dracula's place. He's definitely shook when he leaves, but he was never bitten. That's a sound, that's a sound. Uh, we got Longsword, we got, uh... Oh wait, no, that's Category. So that's the Claymore, this is the Battle Rapier. Not as good. This is the Great Axe. Oh! Ooh! It's pricey. 167... 178 pricey, but I like the idea of it. And then this is a Wiko. You've already got a bound base. Okay. I'll consider it maybe later. I don't think I've got a huge need at the moment. And I can just come up here. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, but nah, yeah. Like, Dracula can do all this cool stuff. And... Yeah, and, and 
you know, the the fundamental there is that the, the zombies turn, you know, regular humans into zombies. The vampires turn regular humans into vampires. It's not their necessary, like, it's not their goal to be, you know, to dominate the world. But it's their, their goal to feed and to feast and to basically, you know, dine forever. It, effectively, it's the immortality. So, their goal isn't to wipe out humans. It's to basically be within. I, I love that. That's that's nice and nice and spooky. Zombies, not two dimensional. I guess they they've got the gross aspect to them. Vampires are pretty clean for the most part, Un unless unless they're one of the kinds where like you, you stab them and they like absolutely explode. Or they burn, or something kind of weird. But like, that's only when you kill them. Whereas the zombies, like, you can't, you know, hold your breath. And before we actually have zombies in like the next like 20 years or something. Uh, I just realized as well, this is Mind Read Central. Everyone's telling me about. Okay, these people. Are I guess these people are down south, they don't, they're not really too fast, but... There's a lot of people in this town, so I'm concerned that I'm not gonna actually, like, see everyone. So this guy tells me about the armor. We got chain mail. This is slightly better, but... I don't think... The jerkin? That's an alright bump. 2120 pandemic? Ooh. Ooh. That would... That would be interesting. Interesting. I really... <laughs> topical, like... It's not wishing upon the world. But... Okay, I got a lot of things here that are just gonna give me like 10 armor. Mithril cap? Now that is what I want to see. This seems like the the natural upgrade. I will actually get this to both of them. Get rid of the wooden cap. Oh wow, a game ticket. Wow! Get that one for. Did I say mithril cap? This is a male cap. And then the circlet. I still don't know what's the point of the circlet. It's cheaper, it definitely doesn't protect as much. And I'm not too sure any other stats are affected by armor or so, but. What a nice guy. This does have soul. I'll give him that. Why? Babby. Oh, okay. So this is this is the nice calm place. Just exists. Sure. Doesn't have anything going on. What's another like kind of villain? You got your zombies? Werewolves. Now, I don't really know the typical, like, werewolf, uh, story, like the old one. I don't know, is it, is it like Jekyll and Hyde? Is that, like, the, the origins of the werewolf kind of plot? Or is it, like, something else? That's, it's not really a werewolf. All I know is Twilight. Twilight, I think, is great at getting people to look at other things and go, hmm, because, oh boy. The films, the films are in the league of their own. The books, I hear are okay. It is I. Ooh. Oh my gosh. He has changed. Oh, snap, yeah, we forgot. <laughs> okay. 
You must explain the whole story. I didn't realize that this is his place. And so, the grayscale talking begins, where the main characters look at each other, sweat, nod, react, exclamation, exclaim, look at each other some more, wait, look at each other, shake at their heads, and then ultimately, that's the story. Easy. But nah, yeah, Twilight, great, great film at getting you to laugh with friends. It's great. Um, I can't think of, what's another werewolf thing? No, Harry Potter's cliche, and it's not really about werewolves, is it? Cliche as in everyone says Harry Potter, not the fact that Harry Potter itself is cliche. It's got its biblical bits, but yeah, it's a, it's a world, it's got stuff. Nice. They're normally afraid or upset about turning into one. Uh, the werewolves? Yeah. It's definitely that, like, it's, it's an interesting one because it's like, they, they do have that idea of turning and then turning back, whereas, like, the zombies and the vampires, the vampires, it's a cure, the zombies, it's, often that's it, like, you're gone. The werewolves, they know of, of that kind of, like, other-sidedness, um, so... I guess you do get like that that story tone of like they've they've got the the two personas they've got the the I guess you, usually it's more timid and, and inwardly kind of vibe and then it's like yeah like you know the party animal or in, in some cases the actual animal I guess <laughs> we can help we can get oh. <laughs> Angry, you will kill yourselves by trying. No, we don't have quests. <laughs> Hammond is a good hostage to them, they will not kill him. We shall wait for another message from Wumpa. Uh-oh. Okay. Here we go. He swore an oath to a Jupiter Adept. Jupiter Adept? Have you heard of a village called Vale? Nah. Give me a break, you know Vale. It's... You don't know Vale, it's our hometown. Nice. You're from Vale, really, then the prophecy was true. What prophecy? Oh, Chuck has a prophecy, will ya? Three years after the terrible storm that struck only Mount Aleph, Ivan must depart on a journey with warriors from Vale, so it was foretold. I've heard nothing of such a, of any such prophecy. It happened several years before Hammett founded Kalei, who was off traveling. Hammett felt he had reached an impasse as a merchant then. He risked his life on a journey to find a new source of business. He was in mortal danger at the southwestern edge of the world when some adepts appeared and saved his life. He had lost consciousness. When he awoke, he found himself in their village. Just a moment, am I from that village? Is that why he's so white? That was it! Doubloons! Were they golden doubloons? Yes, let's see, you're all called... You're called... Uh, I'm here, Lady Lay. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of gold now, but he also received some business advice. This is advice, Hammett, the greatest merchant ever known. Yes, Garrett Hammond has the adepts to thank for his success. Wow, I've never heard anything like that, wow. It's advice to buy silk in Xi'an and sell it in Tolby. See anything sell so well as like a dream come true. There's no denying that was what <laughs> when Hammond picked up his neck for business. Did he have to promise them anything in return? Ah oh, yes, Ivan, it was something you will need on your journey. Money. <laughs> the Adept asked Hammond to use the shaman's rod to obtain it. He looked for this object wherever he went, but he could never find it. Then three years ago, a storm struck one that hit only Mount Aleph. Hammett was worried that time was running out, but he had managed to unearth a clue just in time. That, Ivan, is why he took you with the caravan on his last journey north. I had no idea, so that must be why he left the rod in my care, but then... Ooh.
Well, that's a bit of lore. That's a bit of magic. Oh, I guess I'll look for it. Fair enough. Oh. <laughs> Don't go there again. We're good. We're good. Uh, more castle. What is a castle? What is just? How many people live in these castles that requires them to be so massive? Like, I guess you got like you know like you know. Usually, staff will live on a castle. I guess. Maybe sometimes. Looks like I'm only seeing one bedroom right now. I'm probably gonna say there's one on the other side. Oh, seven. Business and you. Trust between two. Okay, sure. And now I feel terrible. Got it. Cool. So these guys got their beds. And. A water jacket. A water jacket. Oh, that's that's good stuff. Who needs that the most? Oh, actually, I realized this is 100%. Resist water and fire. You can guarantee that is give it to the person who is most likely to be the healer. Every time. Always do that. Give that person the most resistant stuff to spells. Because usually a spell comes in... Ruins your day. Don't want that to happen. Nice. So these guys got their two beds. Uh, now here's something. Is this a, like, set a torch on fire kind of moment? Which one was it? Which one would, like... Let him, uh, set things on fire. God, protect? That doesn't look like it. It definitely feels like he needs to be, like, swapping it with something, but... Or, it needs to be like the, the more mild one. But that doesn't, that doesn't look like he's gonna get it. That's gonna look like he gets a bunch of spells. Same thing over here, it's like you'll get Slash and Wind Blast and then you lose all that. You get, you know, Dows and Drench. Where's your Fire one? And it's not, I don't think it's the specific uh, Jin. I think it is just the element. It has to involve the fire one to some extent, but... So if I just pass him that, and then let's say I pass him another one, is he gonna, like, learn or forget any? I don't think he's forgotten any of us. I've both gotten all this stuff because they know all the, 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 the things, I think. Who's getting the fire ability? Let me just, let me just trade that. He doesn't have it. Okay. Uh, if I just go like try ability for a moment. Still nothing. Still nothing.
Yeah, I... I don't quite know. I don't remember how to set things on fire. That's gonna annoy some people, isn't it? Alright, so this just kind of seems like a, a, a flyover state. Just a place that exists, and then I walk past and I just keep going on my merry business. Uh, but perhaps it will be the elusive tunnel. Is this the elusive tunnel? This is the elusive tunnel. Hey, can't go. So you're not gonna let me go through the tunnel. Why? Can I tell the, the queen lady? Yo, let me into the tunnel. This doesn't look like... Oh, hi there. I guess I could just walk past. That's Dead End City again. Maybe I could go north? Is north an option? Sure. Look at these little dudes! These are like beginning of the game enemies. I don't know why I'm attacking them one at a time. So am I at the beginning of the game? No, they're not like full the beginning of the game, but this is like... Yeah, that's Vol right there. Does this mean that I can actually, like, wander back to get the, the thingy? Because I've got to go to... Lena, which is way forever away. Let's do it. Let's go for it. Just add some time. Alright, what's some what are some other like monster movie villain things? You got your wizard, but your wizard's been kinda overdone. I don't think the wizard has as a spooky place anymore. Uh, this is gonna be runaway central because it's just So many so many enemies I've already fought. Ghosts ghosts are good ones. Ghosts are good ones. I feel like ghosts have gotten a bit of a weird name. Uh, or a weird reputation. I blame Casper. There's too many friendly ghosts out there. Uh, although you do get your, your paranormal activity, I guess, but... Ghosts are a bit weird, because, like... What exactly, like... Is it? Is it just, like, it's the possession angle? Is that really, like, the spook? Like, they effectively come back to life. They they do depend on the culture, yeah. I don't think Americans know their, uh... Their, uh, their spooky ghosts. It's usually not spooky. Maybe. Maybe they do know. It's like those strong, like, movie... Just kind of loud ones. The ghosts that are always moving some piece of furniture right when you don't look. All right. So this is this is the other gin I looked up. I saw him there. I was like, "How do you get him?" This is, this is the door in the back. 
and a dungeon. Almost. Almost. And it's just pretty low level enemies. I don't think it's really worth going for it. Oh. And he doesn't fight. Oh, oh, the sound. Help. Oh, boy, the sound. So now, I've got Granite, who creates a mighty earthen barrier. Which is nice. Uh, so that's four yellows. Man, okay. Um, yeah, I guess. You've got, like, uh, various countries in Asia, and they'll have their own, like, kind of ghosts, don't they? I sometimes see, like, the, the one which is, like, the, the head with the, 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 like, internal organs hanging out. And I'm like, why does that, like, keep showing up? Something pretty popular about that one. I don't know, where was that from? Like, Thailand? Malaysia? Somewhere in there. I'm not too sure which one in particular. Um, I don't really know what about it it is. It seems to fly and terrify people, and that's it. It probably does something. It probably, like, spits acid or turns you into a demon. There's got to be, like, a lingering threat to the monster coming out. You think some of these monsters, like, especially the smart ones, would just kind of go, like, hmm, like... There's got to be some purpose to why I'm terrorizing people, right? At least like the vampires, they can just go like, oh, I just feed off blood, like, I've... And, and on top of that, they don't want to terrify everyone, they want to like, terrify one guy. Such that they become vulnerable, because that's, that's a, that was a Dracula thing, it's like, it's, it's the will of the individual that also determines, I guess, like, how strongly they convert over. At least werewolves, yeah, you can go pretty simple on them. So we got ghosts, we got zombies, we got werewolves, we got vampires. Uh, amount of things in Twilight. So for that, what's uh, what's another one? Mummies. Witches tend to be scary. Definitely, you get like some some spooky ones. I remember, uh, I think people have watched uh, the film The Witch. Oh yeah, they made a new The Witches, didn't they? I didn't, I haven't seen it. I know the old one, and it's like, the witches, uh, you know, they give you a gift, and you don't want to accept them. That's, uh, Blair Witch Project? I guess there's that. I've never actually seen Blair Witch, but I guess the, uh, the ring? I've also never seen the ring. I know of, like, the tropes, like, the stuff that's come from them, but I actually don't know about them in particular. But, like, those have, those have, like, the, um, the cursed... Uh, you know, item, the curse, uh, action. Like, the ring's got the, the phone call, and you answer the phone call. Um, so I guess there's that idea of, like, yeah, something being cursed. Um. Am I ever gonna get this guy? Wait, can't I just, like, grab this guy now? I had grabbed the entire time as well. Maybe it's force. Maybe I gotta be not standing up here. Get him out! Oh, dang it. I can turn up here, but I'm not supposed to go to to Lumpur, or at least they're not going to yell at me, and I can't think of really anything that I can do at the moment. Maybe I'm missing something down south. Like, maybe I just kind of wandered up north, and I was like, yep. It's good to know that I can just go up here now. 
the world map kind of opens up to you like once you realize what's going on and I'm glad that I'm actually gaining a good understanding of like this whole northern bit which kind of indicates there's not much of the world map left maybe there's a fair bit of backtracking um what's another spooky thing what's another spooky spooky thing that exists I was thinking mummies but mummies are pretty pretty straightforward and it's it's again the curse angle it's like don't don't upset the mummy. The mummy exists. You don't want to tell the mummy he ain't your mummy. You know? Oh. Uh oh. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Cryptids? I. I'm actually unfamiliar with the cryptids. Oh, like all the way? Things like Yeti. Like, like, just like a Yeti monster, or...? Alright, we got another Jin Gang. So that's four of each, and this is a definitely is general family of mysterious animals. Mysterious animals is always a one I, I feel. I can't think of like too many other like mysterious animals, but I guess you got like Sasquatch isn't like terrifying though. He's just like he's just chilling. I'm act I'm blanking out on a lot of these. Oh, I'm here now. Okay, okay. I'm glad that I know what's here. This looks like almost the same layout, but slightly different. But now I've got to figure out how do you get how do you get that statue out. <laughs> Bunyip. Ah, I, I'm starting. I'm starting to, to remember like bits. I remember like reading about bunyips in like in like primary school, like way on the back. But I don't remember really much about what they did. Something about like you sleeping or or things like that, maybe. Or it's like don't don't let a bunyip like see you or something like that. Definitely looks like, you know, there could be more I could do if I could lower this by effectively dragging this all the way out, but I'm not too sure what it really intends for me to do here. It just doesn't really seem like I can do anything there. What's with these pink walls are, I tell ya. Um... Yeah, I can't really think of uh, another... Another movie monster kind of thing. I guess I got Frankenstein. Frankenstein's a bit of a weird one. I don't... I, I don't know about the novel. But, if I had to guess something, I'd say there's something where it's the monster that reflects... You know, the good intentions and the evil intentions of the individual who creates the monster, and that's that's something. Because because the monster is just Frankenstein's monster. Frankenstein's a dude. Ooh, you see that? Oh, I gotta talk to someone. Just go on with your journey. Go on with your quest.
I have a feeling I do have to go north. I just got a, a thingy. That's it. The fact that there's a gin there makes me feel like there's, you know, I do have to be back there. This is a red zombie. Oh, I guess the other one's not dead. And that's seven experience. That's seven experience. That is a pitiful amount. Okay, because yeah, when I was here, they said something different. Which makes you think, there's something going on. What great timing. Okay. What's going on? I wasn't paying attention. The rumors of thieves. We haven't been paying that much mind why they've been so quiet recently. I can't go north. That's bad news. Can't can't travel north. Got it. Got this bit all the way around here. Sure. Maybe maybe one of these houses. The urn. Cool. Yeah, no, since you left, all sorts of crazy things have been happening. What? The thieves you caught have escaped from jail. I'm worried that they might have come after you if you run into them. No. Well, that's good, but be careful. Team Rocket getting out of jail. What are you gonna do? This is just the. Oh, that is the jail. Okay. Playing around the well. Hmm. And then, yeah, looking over here, still nothing at the moment. That doesn't, like, it looks almost like a bit to walk to, but... I'd love to be able to just, like, see a little more north there. Uh... So that thing jumps out, which makes me think, okay, well, one side can go over there. It's a little too far. A little too far. And that doesn't look like it's a... It's a, um... A lift. No, not quite. So... In church, which just exists. Thank you for polishing the statue. Yes. And Ivan too. Nice. Cat or the sun? Uh, why is the cat coming in here? Good idea. Good idea. Is that a ring of things that I can? Well, get the 
pop her out of there though. Is that a ring that I can reveal? Hey, that's cool. Oh boy. Oh, you, mm. <laughs> even I like was like, mm, why have they done this to me? Uh, so I can do. So granite gives me the mighty earth and barrier. And I can defend myself with heat, and I can boost my agility, and I can lull you to sleep. So that seems like it's a, it's a stat barrier, maybe, because that's just that's just agility. Sierra missed. So I guess that means I've got everyone's like fourth magic thing already. So nice. Uh, drop agility. Give him delusion. Give him smoke. Drop his attack. Just get him. At, get him down. Get him out of there. Can't catch a break, can he? But then he's still successful against the side lane, so I don't know. Do the I, do the mimic scale, or is it more just like I'm kind of just really wrecking them now? I've got the feeling I'm just really wrecking them. A, a treasure chest, like that's it. Oh. Okay, and then I guess I'm just going to cast like quartz, I guess. And fizz on, on whoever. That's the thing, when you've got too many, too much defense, too much setup, and you're like, yeah, oh, I've got to heal somehow, how do I do it? I can't do it. I'm too healed. Oh. Yeah, nah. Okay, so what have I got? I've got Judgment. I've got... I don't think I even use, like, the one underneath. So, no. But I've got Judgment. I've got Media. I've got Thor. And I've got Boreas. So we got Thor kicking in first. Well. Don't think I really needed the rest. Sure. I'll take it. Uh, Pit. Door, uh, water. Let's get him. Let's get him. <laughs> All right, what's judgment? What we got? Ooh, look at this guy with the lion laser. Oh boy, and everyone died. The end. Oh my goodness. From the forest to the cave. And he's very dead. Got it. Don't mess with that. There's... Okay, this is just... Standard block pushing. Push the block. Put it in the spot. Nothing questionable at the moment. That was a spooky puzzle. Uh... That's a whirlwind one, isn't it? Okay, treasure chest. Not a mimic. What is that? That's... Ooh. Boost attack gloves. That would... That's just a general benefit to whoever would be attacking the most. Which I have the feeling that it's probably going to be Isaac. Uh, you can take the, the potions. Okay, that's nice. Uh, this one I'm going to have to imagine I set up a bit of platform jumping and I'm going to need a lot of frosts. So let's just set that up on L. Lots of frost, wow. I 
I think I just need those ones. Because I'm going to come in from this angle. There we go. Uh, there's another staircase down, which comes out to a very similar place here. Okay. Oh. Alright, let's fight that bee, but I've got Media, which is going to hit everyone. And that's still all set, but we'll just attack for the moment. Give him the barrage. Alright, what's media? I assume death from above. Really heavy rock. Wow. Heavy rock. Oh my goodness. The frame rate really loves, loves it. Okay. Um. Lower area. Got it. Staircase. Button. Drain some water out. Okay, I had to come up here. Nice. I'm curious how complex these dungeons are going to get, because... They're not like... I don't think they're increasing in scale, but they're definitely like, you know, you got all these corridors and places to walk. Ooh, I see the predicament. I see the predicament. So you can see that there's the water splashing uh, to the left. Oh, they're basically neighboring all of these ones. So if I put that there, that gets, that doesn't get hit yet. But the odds are that something that touches this is going to get hit. So if I put that there... Is that going to share the fire? Does that share the fire? Does that share the fire? I thought it would, actually. Uh, No, like again, like I don't know what's the. Well, maybe I should do that. Still don't know like what the the fire like ability is. I assume if I stop pushing that there, that's going to get wet. Or I can be quick. Okay. Ah. So do I just leave the room and come back? I'll be lit. Yep. I think I gotta maybe just push it twice in the same direction and then hope for the best. That might be it. That's interesting that that one's just in the way. Alright, let's time this right. Oh. Oh. Nice. Did this just open up a way to get back to where I was just before? Maybe. These are some different enemies. Uh, 
That's a bit of damage. I realize as well I've got a lot of health when I've got all my um my uh gin set, and I think that's because maybe the gin when it's there gives you a bit of magic. Sorry, gives you a bit of health. So if I then go to this and you can see, yeah, like health drops 30 on all of these, like geez. So maybe there's something by just having like all four gin just sitting there. Uh, so I can't go down there, but I can go up here, which is back into this room, okay. Yep, okay. So now I'm down below, which I can jump across and go up a ladder, which lets me across, which puts me down outside. There we go, nice. That's cool. Oh, that's, that's actually rather neat. Hello there, young man. Ah, my ears. Stop doing this to me, please. So now... Here's something. Attack and steal HP. Now I've got five. What's going on here? Like, I can continue giving five. I'm just getting more health, I guess. Uh... Oh, was it? There wasn't a drop, was that? That was just... I'm up there. Okay. Uh, I assume now I'm just gonna find the best way to leave. Which may or may not be exactly the reverse direction of coming in. Oh. Uh, I was not down that way, I was down the other way. Hop down there, okay. So is this just a cave to get the gin? Maybe. Uh, oh, I should have activated all of them. I guess I can just use sap right now, just to see what happens. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, and then, yep, back out here, and around and up I go, such that I'm back out, cave, front, is it down here? It was down here, yeah, yeah, oh, that's a neat little goodie, um, I think like what's gonna go I guess I'll head to Lumpa we'll see just what's going on there so I can just sneak into what's Lumpa cave you can get arrested you never know Come in here. This is still the same dialogue, though. So this makes me feel like I don't have to come here. Have to be a shadow. I'm not too sure what they'd really intend for me to walk up and over, although this rock seems suspicious. How about, uh, can I lift it? Is that a liftable rock or, nah, it's, it's way too flat. This just seems like the same town 
The same town that I've been in at- oh, oh, oh. <sighs> Almost. Oh, that's not quite. But I do see a bit of a glowy over there. So, that's interesting because... I guess, is this too small? That is too small. Nice. Um, cause I've been wondering how to get over there. Uh, no I haven't. Cause I remember you can... Do I remember? I remember walking around over there. There's something to let me get over there. I can't be just imagining that I could have gotten over there, right? Like, I, I must have at some point. Right? And I can't make the jump there. That's not a gate. Got it. This is a church. Got it. Oh, that's the, the cave. Can't make that jump. You got a ladder and a staircase for some reason. Brain's ticking. Brain's going like something's up. This obviously seems like a walkway. It goes all the way around. All the way around until I hit to maybe like there, but it also seems to just keep going around the entire length. I get the feeling that like maybe that needs to become a rock, but I do not know what they want. And I've tried whirlwind. Uh, <laughs> Frost. I'm not too sure. I don't think it's it's definitely not force, but. That seems odd. So maybe it's not coming in here at the moment. Because yeah, no new lines of dialogue means it doesn't really scream come in here, do do something new, so. Uh oh well. Well, I think that's a good point to, to stop it for the night. Um Definitely I've made a bit of progress. We went to the the, the desert, talked to a bunch of things, dungeon story, talked about monsters. I think that's good for for today, so with that, thank you guys so very much for watching the stream. Uh, yeah, it, if you've enjoyed, please subscribe on Twitch, and, or follow on Twitch and subscribe on YouTube. Uh, it, well, I mean, I'm basically just uploading this there. Uh, I seem to have gotten into a very regular pattern of streaming on Mondays, so I will stick to that for the moment. I like the two hours. Uh, the two hours is nice. And, uh, yeah, other than that, Golden Sun is definitely still continuing. I'm still learning new stuff about it. So we'll see how well it goes, I guess. But, how, how far am I through the save? Like, 10 hours 13? I'd imagine either I'm... I feel more than halfway. We'll see. Alright. Thanks, guys.